So I am going to do a T-Slim pump site change and I just thought I would share it. So this is the pump and they send you this little tool to use to pop the cartridge out. You can also use a coin, but I just use the little tool. And then I just go ahead and press up until the cartridge pops out like that. And then this is just trash. So I'll throw that to the side. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my insulin and clean the top off with some alcohol. Whoops, just like that. Just to make sure it's disinfected or with an alcohol wipe. Um, so these are the three things that come with the pump as like how you refill the cartridge. So this is a syringe. So I'm just gonna take the syringe out of its packaging and then you twist the needle tip on. So just like that, just going to twist it in place and then you have your syringe and then I just pull up how much insulin I'm going to need. Unscrew that. So then you just take the syringe, stick it in your vial of insulin and press all that air into the vial, flip it over and start to fill your syringe with insulin. Okay, so I have quite a few bubbles. So I just take a pen and kind of tap to break the bubbles up and send them to the top. And then I just press them back up into the vial and pull back down until I have the right amount of insulin that I need. And then just take that off, open up the cartridge, So with the cartridge, this is how they look. So I just set mine down and then take my syringe and poke it in. There's like a little white dot. So I poke it into the little white dot, like halfway down, It kind of, it, you'll feel it stop. And then I just pull up to pull out some of the air that's in the cartridge. And then when I can't pull up anymore, I slowly pull the syringe out from the cartridge um, use my pen again to get all the air bubbles up to the top and then push up to get those air bottles, air bubbles out of the syringe. Okay, so once those are all out, I take the syringe, put it back in that white dot until I feel it stop and then I push the insulin in. Awesome. And then just pull it out. Recap the syringe so I don't have a needle just kind of hanging out. Um, I take the needle off and I just throw this into my sharps container and then I can throw um, like this portion of the syringe in the garbage or the recycle. Okay, so after that, I'm going to go to my pump, unlock it, and I'm going to go to load, whoops. And then this screen comes up and I'm going to hit the first one, change cartridge. Okay, so then it says, in order to change cartridge, all insulin will be stopped and I say, okay. And then it says, make sure your infusion set is disconnected from my body. So I accidentally just ripped mine out. So mine is disconnected. And then it says preparing for a cartridge and then install cartridge and unlock once you've done that. So I take my insulin cartridge and like you can see, there's a big gap where you slide it in and then just kind of push it down into place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit this blue little unlock to say the cartridge is in. Is the cartridge installed? Yes. 
And then it goes through like this little thing where it detects the insulin in the cartridge to make sure it's installed correctly. Okay, so 100%, so that was good. Now it says, make sure the set is disconnected from your body and securely connect the tubing to your cartridge. So that's the tubing of the insertion site. So for T-Slim, these are what your insertion site looks like for packaging. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the plastic wrap take off this little white protective thing and then pop off the lid but I keep the lid because after I um, insert the site and the needle is still in here I recap it and put it in my um, sharps container so just pop it off like that so that is the packaging and the little needle so then this is kind of hooked so you want to unhook it but gently because this thing is very fragile and then you just start to unwrap your tubing all the way and then I'm going to take this end of the tubing and connect it with the end on the pump and twist it extra tight <laughs> wonderful okay so then I'm going to hit OK that it's connected and it comes up with this screen and I want to start filling the tubing. I'm going to, cause this is all filled with air right now and I want to fill it with insulin. So I'm going to start, but a trick that I was told to do is to hold my pump like upright so that any air bubbles come to the top and are pushed out. So while it's filling, I'm going to hold the pump upright and I'm also going to hold my insertion site and make sure that insulin comes out on this end. This takes a little while. It takes like 13, 12 to 13 units for me to fill this. Okay, so while the pump is filling, I'm going to pull off this white, um, like protective thing of the stickiness. There's definitely a word for that, but I don't know what it is. So I just take that off and then Pull off the little blue protective thing so that's the needle and as I wait for it to fill I'll try to okay that's not really gonna focus but you can kind of see it okay anyway waiting for it to fill okay so there's a few drops so I'm gonna stop it, and now it is detecting, I don't really know what it's doing right now. It's making sure that insulin is in the tubing. So while that is doing its thing, there's two sides to this insertion site. So this is like a lined side, and then this side is where you actually press to insert it into your body. So you don't wanna press or hold this side until you're ready to insert the site so I'm going to hold both ends that have the line and then there's two like little areas to grab and you pull inward and lock okay so this screen comes up asking if I saw insulin at the end of the insertion site and I did so I'm gonna click done the next step is to do the actual insertion my least favorite part of the whole thing Okay, so I'm going to do like, let's see here, turn this. I'm going to do like my um, upper thigh area here. So I'm wiping it off with just an alcohol wipe just to make sure it's clean. Okay, so then I take my insertion site by the lined edges and press it to 
to where I'm going to put my site. And I move my hands around to the like button area where you press the like site in. Okay, so after you press it in, I just like press down on the middle a little bit and then pull straight out. And then the site is in. I take the um, insertion site and just recover it up with that lid that it came with. And then I go back to my pump. And then there's an option to fill cannula. So I'm gonna hit that. And then I'm going to hit start to fill the little um, piece of tubing that's under my skin. Okay, so then it reminds me when my next site change will be. And then all of my check marks are there, so I go ahead and hit the blue check. It says test your blood sugar in one to two hours, and then it says ready to resume insulin, and I hit yes. Insulin is resuming, and I am back. So um, it's pretty simple. It, this was a little bit long because I like talked through everything, but when I do it, usually I can do it in like five to seven minutes, so it's not really too bad. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.